ever since um, last winter when I flew my twin otter in the snow with the snow floats, um, and it took basically half the field to get it turned around, I wanted to mess around with uh, differential thrust um, to help turn it when it was on the ground. And I fooled around with it and partially got it to work, but then sometimes the throttle cut wouldn't work. And um, kind of put it aside and flew all summer. And, and then here we are on, you know, cold windy days with not much to do. So decided to uh, fool around with it again and finally figured it out. So here we go. So I have um, the right engine plugged into channel one, the left engine plugged into channel five, and the lights are plugged into the vine port. So first off, the setup of this differential thrust is we're going to go to system setup and we're going to go down to channel assign and on channel input, um, gear is inhibited. Ox2 has the um, A switch for safe select. What you'll do is you'll set up Ox2 um, with safe select so that um, you'll bind your aircraft with safe and then with this set to Ox2 to channel A, which is switch A, um, you'll hold both sticks in and then toggle um, a full five times up and down, like one, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down. Do it five times until the plane dances. And that will set up the safe switch on aux two. <clears throat> and then we're going to use channel five for motor two, which is the left engine. And go down here to the RX port assignment, and we're going to have AUX4 on gear, which is channel 5, where um, the left motor is being plugged into. So the left motor is going to be on AUX4. The right motor is going to be on the throttle port, right here. So then, um, you know, AUX2 is just AUX2. And I'm not using channel 8, 9, and 10, so I just inhibited them. Ox 1 is on flap. Um, I did Ox 4 because I just wanted to keep it an even number. I don't know why, but just did it. So I'm going to go back. And then we go to... And then we go down to throttle cut. We set throttle cut to minus 100. And don't do minus 120. Do minus 100. And um, we're going to use switch G because you have to have a three position switch because we're going to do everything on one switch. That's the only way this will work. So um, position two agility mode motor off is throttle cut motor off. But this throttle cut only controls the the right engine, which is in the throttle port. It does not control, does not cut the left engine, which is aux four. So that's what where mixes come in. So we'll come down to our mixes. And then come down to mix one, throttle to, to AX4. So this is tying um, the, th the right engine and the left engine together. Um, do 100, 100, um, active trim, and then um, switch on. And this will make it so that... Um, I've got to turn throttle cut off. 
Agility mode. <clears throat> when you advance the throttle, they both go up and down. Same amount. Okay, then we go back. And then mix two is going to be the throttle cut for the left engine, which is aux four. And that happens motor off only on position two of the switch so you do minus 100 minus 100 and switch g on position two and that's going to give you a throttle cut on the left engine which is aux four agility mode you see that we have nothing on the other two Normal positions mode. Agility so mode. that when you have normal throttle mode. cut on off. the um, the mixing or normal mode are, are not going to be active, so you'll get full cuddle, throttle cut. So go back. We go down to mix three. And this one is active. Agility mode. Switch position one on G. And this one will control the um, left engine. Um, so you set this to about zero. It's hard to get exact, but when I do right rudder, the left engine is going to spool up. Because you want the left engine to spool up when you are doing right rudder. Because you want the left engine to thrust and turn the plane. And then you'll see um, in mix four, it's causing the right engine, which is on the throttle, to spool down. And that's spooling up on the left engine, spooling down on the right engine. So then we'll go to mix four. Once again, we got rudder to throttle. And this one is controlling the right engine. You can see these, these numbers are positive this time. Oh, stop. Okay, that's just the uh, throttle timer. Go back to four. So, <clears throat> mix four is the right engine, which is on throttle, and they're positive. And this makes it so that um, when you're going left and right, the um, right engine, when you're going left, rudder, the right engine spools up and the left engine spools down, X4 spools down which is the left engine. Throttle, right engine spools up. When you're going right, um, because we have mix three set up, you're seeing that the right rudder, the left engine spools up and the throttle, which is the right engine, spools down. And then if you see, if we um, hit throttle cut, Motor off. Nothing moves but the rudder. And those are your four mixes. And it works quite well. And I just need to test it in a flight. Um, my, my intention is mainly to use differential thrust on the ground, like in the snow or on the water for turning and maneuvering. 
so you get more of a spin. Um, and um, use normal mode, which is just both throttles acting normally for takeoff and flying um, and landing. Now, and then as soon as you land and get it down, you could switch it to differential mode and get better steering. Um, the one thing you can use the differential thrust to do probably some fancy maneuvers and spins. Um, I might try out that eventually sometime, get it up high enough and try a few spins. But you, you want to be careful you don't go too high on um, these numbers in mix three and four um, because you can really cause a flat spin and um, it, that would be really hard to recover. I wouldn't go any higher than 50%, um, spool up and spool down, um, you know, to avoid this flat spin. You just don't want that. Um, and that's it. Um, it's not really too difficult. It just, it took me a while to figure out that it, it has to be all on one three position switch. You can use any three position switch you want. But I chose um, switch G and up throttle cut. Agility mode. Agility mode is the differential mode, left right rudder, and left right engine. Normal the mode. The normal mode is just normal. Both props spin equally with the throttle. Agility mode. Motor off. And then position two is, um, you know, that's. Motor off. Um, the engines will not spool up on rudder or advancing the throttle. It's true throttle cut. So there you go. Agility mode. There's left rudder and right engine. Here's um, right rudder and left engine. Left rudder, right engine. Right rudder, left engine. And what this does is, as you spin it up, um, it ups one side 15% and drops the other side 15% and vice versa, whether you're doing left or right rudder. So if you're going about half throttle and you go right rudder, then it's going to um, increase the power to the left motor and decrease the power to the right motor, so it'll go right. And if you're doing left rudder, then it's going to increase the power to the right motor and decrease the power to the left motor. So um, get to the right and left. More on a dime, hopefully, in the snow. This also probably worked really well in on the, on the water. <clears throat> Motor off. And you can see nothing works with throttle. And then Agility mode, normal mode. you got normal mode, which left and right doesn't do anything. You just get normal thrust. Agility, Agility mode. mode gives you the left and right thrust with the rudder turning. Motor off. So one of the reasons I could never get this to work correctly and still have throttle cut, cut working correctly is because 
Um, you really need to set this up. First, you have to, the Twin Otter has both ESCs um, hardwired into a harness that go into um, the throttle channel. And what you have to do is separate the two ESCs into separate plugs so that they can go into different channels. Um, my friend, um, Pilot Mike, did that little piece for me because he's really good at that kind of stuff. And so what I ended up doing was I plugged the right motor ESC into the throttle channel and I plugged the left motor plug into channel five and set channel five to aux four. And then I have safe set on aux two. And then I put, I plugged the lights into the bind port after everything was bound. <clears throat> you can see the lights work fine. And I will <coughs> turn the light off just so you can see. We got lights. And everything works, flaps work. Landing flaps. Take off flaps. Flaps up. Elevator works. Hail rounds work. Motor works. And I have this all ready for another snow day, if we ever get one, where it's not blowing 27 miles per hour and 29 degrees. It would even, I would even probably go out at 29 degrees if it wasn't blowing really hard. But the combination of like 27 mile per hour wind and 25 degrees or so or outside makes it really, really, really cold and uh, dangerous to fly to <clears throat> in the snow. <clears throat> um, so hopefully we'll get something soon and if not I'll uh, fly this on the water this, uh, this summer um, without any kind of mix like this. It was really hard to get this thing to turn in the snow without really gunning it and, uh, and it was just you know, a little frustrating so it's just a little project I've always wanted to do just for fun and um, I would not recommend this on a brand new plane if you expect to keep your warranty on a brand new plane I've had this plane for about three years now so um, I doubt if I'm gonna get any kind of warranty on it at this point uh, but um, you know anytime you change the design of something you run the risk of uh, you know avoiding your warranty but, you know, this this plane is about three years old i've had a few mishaps and repairs um, mostly the the nose gear I had to replace the server server on the nose gear and bend it back when i came down a little bit too hard on the nose and then Another time I just had the plane had the nose gear twist on me and that, that also blew the uh, servo which is controlling both the rudder and the nose gear. Um, so what I did was I put in a metal gear to control the rudder and the nose gear and that has worked fine. So and that is that. Now, just to give you a little bit better perspective. Agility mode. Um, right rudder will give you spool up on the left engine to turn right. Left rudder will give you spool up on the right engine to help you turn right. It's not going to move on this floor very well. You can get an idea here. 
I got left rudder going. Cut fully covered. So that's cool. And uh, feel free to ask questions. <laughs> 